Hi guys, my name is Tina and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going through the solution for question four from this mock exam paper. So this question is worth 15 marks in total. So we're told that Martin makes a game for a school project and that the game board consists of three circles, one within the other. The scoring for hitting each section with the dart is shown on the diagram. And question A asks us what is the maximum score Martin can hit with three darts? So the highest score here we can see is nine. So I mean the maximum score is if you hit nine three times. So if you hit nine multiplied by three times, you get 27. And that's the maximum score that someone can hit with three darts. So now let's move on to question B. And we're told that Martin calculates that he has a one fifth chance of hitting the center of the board and getting a score of nine. So what is the probability of him not hitting a score of nine? So the probability of him hitting the board is one. So he has to hit the board. So if he hits the center of the board, that's he has a chance one out of five. So we'll take away that to find the probability of him not hitting the center of the board so one take one fifth leaves us with four fifth and you can use your calculator for this if you prefer okay so that is a probability of him not hitting a score of five so we fill in here four out of five so now let's move on to question c so we're told that the game board has a radius of 23 centimeters and what is the total area of the game board and to give our answer correct the nearest whole number so it's given us the formula for the area of a circle so we're going to fit it out pi r is for radius and the radius in this case is 23 squared and we're going to pop it straight into our calculator so on a casio to get the pi sign you're going to press shift and then you're going to press the bottom the bottom button in here which is multiplied by 10 to the power of x get pi and then use your bracket 23 close the bracket squared and then it is 1661.9 and that is in centimeters squared but it asks us to give our answer correct to the nearest whole number so we're going to round it right up to 1662 centimeters squared so now we're told in question d that the center section or the black section has a radius of 10 centimeters and what percentage of the board is black give your answer correct to one decimal place so first of all or find the area of the center section or the black section and to do that we're going to go pi radius which is 10 squared okay and see what we get there so we get an answer of 314.1 we can just leave it as 314 centimeters squared so to find this as a percentage of the whole board what we're going to do is divide it by the area of the whole board 1662 centimeters squared multiplied by 100 to get this as a percentage and that will be our percentage so get your fraction sign in your calculator go 314 divided by 1,662, and then multiply it by 100, and we get 18.89, and that is percent. But it's asking us to give our answer correct to one decimal place, so we round the 8 here to 9, so the answer is 18.9%. And I'm going to draw a yellow box around this to make it clear that that's my answer. Okay, and that is all for this question. So I hope that you found this okay, and that all my solutions were nice and clear to you, and that you'd feel more comfortable now if you were to try a question like this yourself.